I was driving to school with my daughter the other day and she said, Mom, I'm so afraid of middle school. I'm afraid I won't have any friends. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm afraid of this and I'm afraid of that. And she gave voice to um, a lot of her fears and I heard her and, you know, I was able to thoughtfully respond to her fears and it got me thinking about how many people that I've heard are so afraid about this election and so afraid about the future. People on both sides who are afraid if the other person wins, this is going to be the end of democracy. This is going to be the end of our country. This is going to be the end. And, um, you know, there is a lot of rhetoric out there on both sides that is really promoting this fear. And my answer to my daughter about being afraid of the future is, honey, we will handle that when it comes. We will do everything we can do in this moment to prepare you for middle school, to choose the right middle school, to make sure you're in the right environment. And the only thing that we can really do is to be in the present moment and just know that I love you. And when the future happens, we will be there. We will get through it together, whatever it may be, because I can't know what the future is going to bring. And so I am thinking the same thing about this election. Today is election day. Many people are afraid. And I think the best thing we can do is, of course, vote how you need to vote. And don't forget the importance of all of the local elections, your senators, your representatives, all of the amendments in your ballot. Those are all really, really important. But whatever the future is, the more fear that we have, the more separation that it will cause. Because either way, one of these two people is going to win this election. And that means that the other half of the country is going to be disenfranchised and grace is going to be the way to handle this. And so if, you know, the, whoever it is that wins, uh, you know, we're, I've already heard talk about National Guard being rolled out, about people being concerned about writing, about war. And these are things that other people, other countries who do not like the United States benefit when we are fighting with each other. We are one country. And we can support each other even if we don't agree. And we, the antidote to fear is love. And so how can that express itself? It's difficult because these, these issues are so important and we feel so passionate about them. I understand. But I also understand that people have been riled up by the messages that they're receiving. So just remember when you fear that, feel that fear in your body to to remind yourself that being in the present moment and filling your body with love, thinking about the love and, and the, um, the most efficient action that you can take in this moment to help negate the fear that we can all be in connection. And no matter who wins this election, we are going to get through it because we're survivors and um, hopefully our country will be able to accept the results and to be able to move forward with grace and learning to work together through our differences.